we're going to explain how to fix Rust connection attempt failed errors. This frustrating message pops up when your Rust program can't connect to a network resource, like a database, a remote server, or even another program on your network. Let's troubleshoot this step by step. One, check your network connection. This might seem obvious, but the first thing to do is ensure your computer is actually connected to the internet or your local network. Look for your network icon in your system tray. It should show a connection. Try accessing a website in your browser to verify. If there's a problem here, fix your internet connection before proceeding. Two, verify the target is reachable. Is the server or service you're trying to connect to actually online and accessible? If it's a remote server, check its status page or contact its administrator. If it's a service running on your local machine, make sure the service is started and configured correctly. Use tools like Ping for checking network connectivity or Telnet to test port connectivity from your command line to confirm reachability. Remember to replace placeholders like server underscore IPE and port with the correct values. Three, confirm the address and port. Double check that the IP address or host name and port number in your Rust code are correct. A single typo can cause a connection failure. Carefully compare your code against the server's documentation or configuration. Four, firewall issues. Firewalls can block network connections. Ensure your firewall isn't blocking the connection attempt. Temporarily disable your firewall to see if this resolves the issue. If it does, configure your firewall to allow connections on the necessary port. Five, check for DNS problems. If you're using a host name instead of an IP address, make sure your DNS resolver is working correctly. Try using nslookup or dig from your command line to check if the host name resolves to the correct IP address. If it doesn't, troubleshoot your DNS settings. Six, examine your Rust code. Carefully review your Rust code for potential errors. Make sure you're handling errors appropriately. Use error handling mechanisms like match statements to catch and deal with connection failures gracefully. Inspect logs for clues about the failure. A common oversight is forgetting to bind to the correct address or port. Seven, consider timeouts. If the server is slow to respond, increase the timeout values in your Rust code. This prevents your application from hanging indefinitely while waiting for a connection. Many network functions have configurable timeout parameters. Eight, check for rate limiting. If you're making many connection attempts, you might be hitting rate limits imposed by the server. Implement exponential backoff to reduce the frequency of requests in the case of failures. Nine, restart your computer services. Sometimes, a simple restart can resolve transient network issues. Try restarting your computer, your router, or the service your Rust application is attempting to connect to. 10. Consult the server's documentation. The server you're connecting to might have specific requirements or known issues. Look for any documentation, support forums, or troubleshooting guides that might provide additional insights. If you've gone through all these steps and still can't connect, provide more details about your setup, your code snippet, and the error messages you're getting, and we can attempt further troubleshooting. Remember to replace placeholder values with your specific details.